What's going on everybody? So today I want to talk about the Demon Hunter because I've been really, really enjoying it so far. I'll run back and do some a uh, little bit of maintenance stuff on my account right now. Now, I have been farming, but I certainly have not been farming as much as I used to, and I don't have as many legendary essences. But I will just say right off the bat here as a TLDR, kind of reflective of the video title, the Demon Hunter has made everything just so much easier. And I'm not talking about how strong the class is, which a lot of people just seem to immediately jump to. That's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about your day-to-day -day activities. If you're farming, it's so much easier to do it on a... Ooh, I think that was a... Yep, that's a new one. Um, it's so much easier to do it on a ranged class just because of how the... Um, you know. You don't have to walk over to the enemies to hit them. And it makes everything just so much easier. So you don't have to move around as often. Everything's just easier. And I think that's something that I need to get the point across. When you're doing dungeons, when you're doing open world content, that's going to be the things that you're doing the most. And to optimize that or to make that the best feeling thing in the game is the best way to go in terms of what class I want to play. Playing the Crusader, playing the Barbarian, play the, playing the, uh, the Monk and all this type of stuff, it had nothing to do with how good I think the class is overall. It's more of the difference between melee and range and what my enjoyment factor is of all these classes. And this is the first class that I've returned to for being a ranged class because my current classes or the classes that I went through basically, it started off Satyr and then I moved into Wizard following that by Necromancer and then Barb and then Monk. So I've been playing a melee class for about a month, other than a half or so between the monk and the bard and it has significantly reduced my enjoyment of the game because overall farming is just more annoying not harder just annoying it's more time consuming and i guess in that sense you could say it is harder uh, if that's your metric by judging what is difficult but overall it's just been more enjoyable a lot of people will say oh but you are just trash you don't know how to play the monk you don't know how to play the barb it has nothing to do with me knowing and what to do with the barb it absolutely has everything to do with one melee classes are significantly less effective in a lot of scenarios when you're talking about pvp and then two uh, you have a lot of scenarios where being ranged just speeds up the process of a lot of things in the game that is just what range does if you're fighting if you're going in open world farming uh, unless you have unless you're playing maybe like a monk potentially but then again, Monk doesn't have the same amount of burst damage as something like a Demon Hunter or a Necro would have. They might be able to outdo a Wizard in terms of burst damage, um, but that doesn't really change much in terms of if you're group farming at least, hitting things with range, especially if you're going to go ahead and do some of the more inactive styles of farming, it's just gonna be much easier. And that's what I'm really looking for in this game is to make my daily processes easier. If you're doing dungeons and you're playing a demon hunter, if you're playing a necro, if you're playing a wizard, it always feels like you handle yourself. If you're playing a monk, if you're playing a barb, your best builds are oftentimes support builds. You know, Inner Sank um, giving you a super big damage buff is one of the best things you can get out of the monk in group content. When you're playing a bard, the best things you can get is like a demoralized buff, group sprint. Those things don't actually benefit you as an individual player as much as something like, for example, getting you a a bunch of damage percentage bonus on vengeance when you cast it uh, on your legendary essences that's going to be a big bonus for you in of itself versus for the group and that's usually what ends up happening the same thing can be said about crusader but in the crusader's case banner is just so strong that it's actually worth running even in solo content generally as well so oftentimes your melee classes are really actually geared towards support more so than the ranged classes which is a little bit awkward the only exception for that would be necro in pvp where your summons are kind of awkward to use and oftentimes will just die so you don't actually get value out of them whereas in pve they're going to be some of the best tools to use so that's some of the thoughts on the demon hunter but it even goes further than that and that's when i start talking about pvp um and we're talking about the viability of each class there are just some things in PvP that are just impossible to do as a melee class. For example, if I were to jump into a PvP Battlegrounds match, my Battlegrounds, even literally I'm at bronze, I think the rank above the, the most bottom bronze, but because I've placed in Legend before, or I'm not even sure if that's 100% the case because people are just not playing Battlegrounds anymore, but because I've placed in Legendary Legend before, I get paired against Legend people, which isn't a bad thing necessarily, but 
their resonance is just so high that when you play a melee class, unless you're playing a bard with Undying Rage, you can do that. However, I've had problems with that before because guess what? Sometimes that is actually bugged and you, your Undying Rage doesn't proc when you need it to. So that could be an awkward thing in of itself. But let's say, assume everything's working correctly, you can get some value out of the barb more so than the other melee classes because you can just not die. However, when you're playing a monk, when you're playing a crusader, when you're playing these classes, jumping into a battle just to be a CC bot and jumping out, you might be able to get one CC move off before you have to retreat. One, that's not a fun playstyle for me. Two, it's super, super irritating to not be able to actually participate in the battles for the majority of the game because all you can do is literally jump in, hit once, and then leave. Otherwise, the demon hunters and the wizards will literally one-shot you. On top of them being some of the most tanky people in the game because, well, just high resonance gives you high tankiness. That's just how the game works. For example, I would be playing against a 4K resonance demon hunter. They have literally 40% more damage than I do while also having 50% more life than I do. That's just how the game rolls. So when you're playing a melee class, that extra damage will not only just one-shot you if you decide to enter a battle, but also the fact that they have higher life inhibits you from actually being able to burst them out in a burst combo if you happen to get on top of them. So Resonance makes it so that your melee classes are inherently less valuable than your, uh, your, when your ranged classes because Resonance makes up for the downsides as Resonance I guess, should in a pay to win game that your range classes actually have, right? So your range classes, the biggest downside of them is that they are hard, well, not even every case, but they're hard, uh, generally speaking, in most games to stay alive, you have to position well. But in this game, you don't really need to do that, assuming that you have decent resonance. Whereas if you yourself are playing a range class with lower resonance, you can at least go ahead and get your damage off without getting one shot. You might get one shot still if you're positioned poorly, but at least you can get your damage off. Whereas if you're playing a low resonance melee class, you oftentimes can't even get your damage off. And in fact, you might be able to get one or two CC moves out before you have to retreat. And even then it's gonna be one CC move on one character at the front line um, or someone that's not necessarily out of position. Cause unless you're help hunting down the demon hunters in the background, um, you're not going to get you know a big combo on anyone you're most likely going to hit their barbs you're going to you're going to hit their necros which is immune you um so it, you can't really dive the back line because if you're trying to dive the back line you're just going to get one shot assuming that you're playing against people that are constantly 3k resonance and above and that is literally my entire battlegrounds six out of the eight players are 3k resonance and above and i could deal with 3k resonance that isn't a huge deal unless it's uh you know maybe potentially a bar with undying rage and you know i'm playing uh a on par resonance character which you know i've already went over this before but i think barb is one of the strongest characters to go with high resonance but if you're playing you know against these other characters you know like 3k resonance whiz or 3k resonance bar then you can deal with those not a big deal but then when you start to play against the 4K Resonance Bar, 4K Resonance Wizard, 4K Resonance um, Demon Hunter, you start to just get one shot and you cannot compete with them um, when you're talking about melee classes. But when you're talking about range classes, you can at least dish out some damage and not die because they also have to play back um, from range. Usually they can dive in sometimes, but they can't go super over aggressive unless you are 6k residents and if you're 6k residents guess what you can do whatever the heck you want and that does happen sometimes um, for your ranged classes and guess what if they're a melee class with 6k residents they aren't necessarily going to just jump on you and one shot you right because they have limitations as a melee class but if they're a ranged class they can just hit you from across the screen so and i think a lot of people kind of accept this idea which is just that ranged classes seem to have a lot more advantages than your melee classes there isn't nothing that you can do sometimes. Sometimes there is nothing you can do, but sometimes there is something you can do about it. And that's usually why, or that's mainly why I wanted to really swap um, into a ranged class. Not only because of all the PVE benefits that I mentioned earlier, making my life just easier to play the game, but also actually being able to contribute in a lot of PVP scenarios because I can at least do damage rather than literally landing one stun on some random character on the enemy team and that's literally my whole contribution for the team fight so definitely been enjoying it i think that the demon hunter as well as the wizard are some of the strongest classes in the game just in terms of their overall viability 
I know that a lot of times um, I myself will put Crusader as like some of the most high value classes in the game. But when we're talking about classes that are just overall convenient, I think that range classes easily take the top of the list. And honestly, Necro probably just breaks the whole list in of itself because of the way the summons work and ease of farming and ease just general you know class casual playing or i don't even say casual playing but just doing the normal things that you would do in the game i think i'm going to lose this to be honest uh yeah um, i wasn't really focusing on dodging but um just going through and doing things that are easy to do for your daily to day activities just makes the whole game more enjoyable. So I highly recommend anyone out there that may be on a melee class, try out a ranged class. I definitely recommend trying out Demon Hunter. They're probably the easiest out of the three classes, probably one of the easiest classes in the game overall, uh, but definitely something that you can just easily run around, kill some people, and you don't have to worry about positioning or don't have to worry about you know trying to run after people um, in PVE or open world farming to try to get your kills. You just run in, kill things, and you don't have to worry about positioning at all because you are ranged class. You can just kill everything in PvE, not PvP, um, because, well, <laughs> you have a ranged, right? That's literally what it is. So definitely recommend you all try it out. I've been really enjoying the Demon Hunter. Uh, I, I know that I have quite a few essences to acquire still. You can see there I actually picked up a new one on the video. Um, I've farmed for about 20, 30 hours on the Demon Hunter. I'm trying to go ahead and pick up some more legendary items, so I'll be doing that. And hopefully I'll be able to get some videos out on the Demon Hunter soon. I'm excited for the Blood Knight. I'm excited for the Tempest when they come out. Uh, I want to try out the Tempest, assuming it's going to be how I imagine it to be, which is like an Elementalist type. If not, maybe I'll try out the, the Blood Knight. Maybe I'll just try out the Strength class first, so I don't have to free farm all my legendary items. I will say, last thing before we end this video, Wizard so far has been my absolute favorite class in this game. I would love to swap back, but I don't want to reform my legendary item or my set items, so I'm just not going to. Hopefully they change that in the future, and maybe I'll swap back to Wizard and do some more videos over there. But with all that being said, thanks for watching, everyone. If you did enjoy, be sure to like the video, sub to the channel, and hopefully I'll be able to put out more Demon Hunter content for you all. Um, I know that the game is getting a little bit stale, but hopefully I'll be able to put out some content that maybe some of you enjoy, as well as getting a new update, which by the time this video drops, you know, we will probably have already gone over it. So... I guess hopefully that's some good stuff and I'll see you then.